The typical raw editing workflow for a photographer looks like this. You take your photo, you, at the end of the shoot, take your SD card, put it into your computer, import everything onto your computer, and then bring it into Lightroom on your computer and edit it from there. This is what I do and this is what most people do and it's fine in most cases. But sometimes you're on the go and sometimes you don't have a computer and sometimes it would be really nice if you could edit a photo right then and there. This is an iPhone and this is my Canon R6 Mark II. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can take your photos straight from your camera, wirelessly send the raw data to your phone and edit a raw photo on your phone and then export it from there. So how do you do it? Well, first you need a Canon camera and an iPhone specifically. For some reason, Canon can't currently transfer raw files wirelessly to Android. So you gotta have an iPhone for this and you gotta have a Canon camera. There might be ways to do this with Sony and other brands, but I own Canon cameras, so that's what I'm covering today. So to do this, you need two apps. The first one is Canon Camera Connect. This is how we're gonna send our photos from our camera to our phone. And the second one is any app that allows you to edit raw photos. I'm gonna be using Lightroom Mobile because with an Adobe CC subscription, you can edit raw photos and it's basically the same as a desktop version, which I like. Step one, you're gonna turn on your camera and go into the menu and go to the purple menu here. And on the first page, it says connect to smartphone. We're gonna select that and hit add a new device to connect to. Hit okay. And now you're gonna get a QR code here. This is gonna let you download the Canon app. Now in the app, if you haven't paired your camera, you're gonna be able to add a new camera here. I'm gonna hit reconnect because my camera's already connected. So I'm gonna hit reconnect and select Bluetooth. And then I'm gonna hit next on my camera, which will take us to the pairing screen. And we'll just wait a second. And there it is on my phone, Will's R6 Mark II. We're just gonna select that. Now on our camera, we can hit next and it's gonna connect. Super easy. Now we can hit import images here and it's gonna switch to a Wi-Fi connection because Bluetooth isn't fast enough to be able to send all that raw data. So your camera is gonna create its own Wi-Fi network and your phone is gonna to connect to this to send the files. So we're gonna hit join here and now we can preview all the photos on our camera. I only have one for this video, but one setting that's important to set first is up here in the top right. We have to select the raw image save format by default, it's set to JPEG, which means even if you are importing a raw photo, it's gonna compress it to a JPEG before sending to your phone. We don't want that, we want all the raw data. So make sure raw image save format is set to raw format. This is gonna bring the whole large raw file onto your phone. With that selected, we can select our image here and down at the bottom, hit import. This will take a second because raw files are pretty big, but once it finishes, we're gonna be able to find it in our camera roll. And there we go, the photo is on our phone in our gallery. It says in the top left here, it's a the phone is recognizing it's a raw file, which is pretty cool. We swipe up and look at the details here. We can even see all the metadata, Canon R6 Mark II, RF 70 to 200, ISO 100 at 200 millimeters, F4, one 250th of a second. That's pretty cool. Now that the photo is on our device, we can bring it into Lightroom here. You can see it shows up automatically and I'm in my editing window. So let's just go through here. I'll do a little edit, straighten, add some contrast, fix our white balance a little bit there. And just going through all the settings here. That's about it. Add some local adjustments. It's actually crazy how powerful this is as a mobile editing tool. The fact that you can do stuff like this still kind of blows my mind. Add some more contrast in there. All right, and then just tap and hold for a little before and after. And now finally to save the edited version back to your phone, you can hit this little button here and hit save copy to device. And you've just edited a high quality raw file with all the same features as desktop Lightroom on your computer. And it was all done right on your phone. Again, this isn't something that I do all the time, but the fact that I can do it has come in handy quite a few times. So if you learned something and you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe. If you wanna see more cool tips like this, you can also check me out on Instagram, TikTok, that kind of stuff in the description. And that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. I will catch you in the next one.